Welcome to my channel Trimit Kala. Today we are going to model a glass feature inside Maya by using polygon. In this video we are going to do the modeling of it and in the next video we are going to texture it. First of all I am going to do the modeling of the main body then the base and at last the handle. For that I am going to the front view then go to create and select CV curve tool. Here I am drawing only a section of the main body. Later I am going to revolve it. Going to the surface module, go to the surface and going to the option box of the revolve and make sure the Y axis is selected and I am selecting the polygonal output geometry. Tessellation method, let's select the general so that we can give the number of UV spans and let's make the U span 20 and V span 36 and apply and here we get the model. Here I want to modify the design of the head of this feature. So for that I am going to the vertex component and selecting all the top vertices. Pressing B for the soft modification and increasing the region a little bit and then rotating it and scaling it up and modifying it a little bit how I am visualizing the design and that's fine. By selecting the vertices and modifying it I'm trying to give a design to this head that's looking fine but we are getting only a single surface with no thickness of it so I'm going to give the thickness to the surface so right click go to the face component and select all the faces of the object going to the polygonal module and inside that going to the edit mesh and hitting the extrude command Pull the Z axis outside and we are getting the thickness for the surface. Now I am going to create the base of it and for that I am going to paint selection tool and selecting all the faces of the base. Going to the front view and going to the edit mesh and hitting the extrude command once again and pulling the mesh out of the surface and here I am getting my thickness and extruding it once again by pressing G G is the shortcut for the last use command and that's creating the base that's looking fine and my next step will be creating the handle here I have got the path of the handle now with a polygonal cylinder I am going to extrude the faces along with this path and I'll get the handle. Let's check it. So creating a polygonal cylinder with 12 subdivision level and placing it at the source of my curve and here I am deleting the alternate edges to make the face parts. Now placing the cylinder at its proper position and selecting all the faces of its cap and shift selecting the curve now going to the edit mesh and hitting the extrude command now increasing the divisions up to approximately 20 and here is the handle we are getting the shape uh, going to the taper option inside the input node uh, making the taper approximately 2 that's looking fine now select both the surfaces going to the edit and tilt by tie face tree now i am going to mesh option and hitting the combine and both the surfaces are combined now selecting all the faces of the cap at the bottom of the cylinder and deleting it same thing i am going to do with the body i am selecting eight faces at this region and hitting delete now i can merge the handle with the main body going to merge vertex tool and connecting each and every vertex from the cylinder to the main body here we need to remember one thing the number of span I have used for the cylinder the number of span I have deleted uh, from the main surface that has to be the same uh, in this adjoining area I can see a little bit tapering so I am selecting both the edges and going to mesh tool and selecting slide edge tool and 
sliding the edges upward to make that adjoining area circular. Now at the top of the handle also, I am going to do exactly the same thing what I have done for the bottom. And here I am selecting the faces of the surface and deleting it. And I also have to select the faces of the cap and have to delete it. And then I am going to merge vertex tool and connecting the vertices of the handle up to the surface so here it is at this adjoining area i can see the height of the mesh is a little bit too much so i am inserting one edge loop over here and modifying the shape i am giving another edge loop and modifying it a little bit so that the adjoining area should look uh, it is made of glass still it is looking a little bit cubic so i am selecting all the corner vertices and scaling it down a little bit so that it will look circular I am going to do the same thing for the bottom also and giving an edge lobe and making this area also a little bit circular this area still looking linear so selecting the two edges and sliding the edges downward to make this area circular now the shape is looking fine but at the adjoining area if i can create a crease then the shape will look a little bit more naturalistic i'm going to do the same thing at the source of the handle and here is my output and it's looking fine hope you enjoyed the modeling of this picture for the material please follow my next video don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching